Right, so I am going to attempt to mend the hole that I think is in the tank uh, for the hot water. Um, previous video you'll see that we investigated, found that we had a leak from the tank um, and we decided that we might need to get somebody to look at it and possibly even replace the tank. Carol did some online research. <sighs> It looks like a new tank would probably cost us in the region of a thousand pounds, which is a lot of money. So if we can fix it, it'd be good. So I'm going to have a go. <laughs> now I'm not a handyman. I am not a mechanic. So this is by way of an experiment. If it doesn't work, we haven't made anything worse. I've looked up some videos on YouTube to see if there's any suggestions or whatever. Um, one of the products I came across was Sikaflex, uh, which I bought a, a tube of, which is a sealant, <clears throat> which seals all sorts of stuff. Um, and um, so I've got that. Uh, I'm going to take the drawers out now. Um, we discovered how to do that. I think we showed that in the last video. So we'll show that again, just getting the drawers out. And then we're going to dive into uh, the cupboard under there and see if I can fix this leak because I think I've located where it is. It's on the inlet valve, but it's not the valve. It's not the connection. It's actually round where the, in, the, the metal goes in. So I think there's a split there, maybe where the welding is. So I'm going to try and fix it with the Sikaflex and see. In the meantime, we've got the water off um, so it's not leaking anymore and everything's dry. So here we go. Let's go and see what we can do. So I got greasy last time I did this, yeah. so I'm going to put gloves on. I, I put this on the bed where you've put my mat to put the drawers on ah, the bed. Ah, right, okay. So I'll move the mat over there. You're going to put it on there, are we? Yeah, put the drawers right. on there. I thought I was going to put them on here. No, that's just there. Protection. Protection, yeah. Because we're in an enclosed, close space. Everything has to move to move everything else. Right. So we have on the side here the little thing that goes down on this side and up on this side. And it just comes straight out like that, which is marvellous. Down on that side, up on this side, and straight out off the runners, which I think is great. So that's that. So we've now got access. So I'm going to go back through because I've got to put on my equipment. Carol's backing up. <laughs> great camera action, Carol. Right. Yes. So I have already got out my equipment. Preparation is everything, so. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we adjust things every time he does things. Yeah. So we've now got um, knee pads, which will go on in a minute. We've got a head torch so that he can. Because this may take a while. <laughs> see what he's doing. Uh, you can tell I've only used this once before, briefly. Okay, so that's. That's pointing where I'm, I'm not going to point it towards you, Carol. No, no. The everybody. strap is a bit twisted, but anyway. Well, as long as it stays on. Right, knee pads, because my knees don't like kneeling for any length of time, and I might be there a while. Yeah. We don't know. One. We do have Some most tip. most equipment here. Right, now, I'm going to use this old flannel yeah. to clean round. There yeah. you go, the joint, as much as I can. Yeah. There's also an old tea towel on the bed as well that I've given you. Okay. So... How's it looking in the... Uh, well, it doesn't look any drier than it did before. No, like we said, some of it is wood, just the stain 
on the wood from yeah. the water that has escaped. Um, so. So yeah. I'm gonna get my hand in there. As so I'm reaching down to where I felt the leak was, and there's like a lot of um, grit, which is probably from the water. Yeah, let's, let's show you. There's a, it's a lime scale, isn't it? Yeah, lime scale. That's yeah. Come off. Yeah. The um, it's coming off of there. Yeah. Um, obviously from where the water was leaking. So if if it's not leaking from there, it's leaking to there. Mm. <laughs> so I was wearing gloves. I'm using a cloth, I can't really feel it as such. Uh, let's see what I'm. Yeah, there's quite a few bits on the floor now. Let's just use my glove. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling the um, there's uh, polystyrene around it. Uh huh. Obviously. Yeah. Um, right up to the edge of it. it yeah. It doesn't give a lot of space for getting this sycophlex round. No. Because the whole tank is covered with polystyrene yeah. obviously to keep the heat Keeping in the heat. which it does which it it works very well yeah yeah so i'm not doing a very good job of cleaning it i have to say because i just can't see what i'm doing and i don't want to damage anything else while i'm doing it i'm reaching through wires and everything else in here. The top is easier to do than the bottom. Just going to push the flannel round and pull it from underneath. Uh, hopefully that will drag some of it off. Might be making things worse rather than better at the moment. That's often the way with things. That's not working. Right. Okay. All right. Well. Just gonna have to work with that, I think. Is that water at the back there? I don't think I can reach all the way through to there. Looks like there's water on the metal at the back. There's a sort of metal bar that goes along that's a sort of frame that the woods did. Um, right. I can't reach as far as that, but it looks like there's a little bit of water back there sitting on the metal mm -hmm. mm. Um, whether that's now condensation condensing there um, yeah I don't know and it may be that that's creating some of the damp um, but let's put it this way it wasn't creating all of the damp because um, the damp has actually stopped since we turned off the water, so mm. you know, it's just some there, right? So, what I'm going to do now is see if I can get some of the sticker flex out uh, onto that paper plate and then see if we can finger it in. Right. Okay, so it's got a hole made in it. We need something quite strong. Um, scissors. Ooh. I may have just ruined a pair of scissors. 
But that's okay, we've got spare. Uh, yeah. James in sets of three, you see, didn't they? Yeah. I'll clean them off straight away. So I was expecting it to be white, funnily enough. Yeah. But it's actually black. Okay, that's not, not So that's not going to work for anything else, else, is it? No, it's not, no. It's absolutely fine for down in there. Mm. I didn't realise it was black. No. Maybe it goes white. <laughs> it's strange to have a black fill around your tiles and things, wouldn't it? Yeah. Would be. So I'm putting that on anyway. And then Yeah. Put it in the machine. Get this okay, screw it up now. Okay. You have to uh, squeeze that really quite hard. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how fast this goes off. You know no. how fast it cures. No. So, so we might give us just have a good blob. Yeah, we might just yeah do this today and then. Well. We'll have to see if we can find out how long it may go off before I can. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to put that over the sink. In case it dribbles. Yeah, I don't it think. doing actually. Uh, cloth. Right. Let's put it on there with a the cloth. There we are. Right. Here we go. Quite chewy. Got it off all in one lump, actually. Uh, again, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just pushing with my finger. Yeah, you just have to. To push it up. Yeah. Uh, around the top. It feels quite sticky. Quite messy. Uh, I go underneath now. Uh, up on the other side. Oh. how much I'm getting and whether I'm getting it to the point where it's doing I don't know uh, and I can't see no it's definitely up in that area have you put plenty on well I put well, all that was on the plate oh, okay right um, Okay, I think we'll just pause the video here. Yeah, this is our second lot. We've yeah. now got a mirror down in here. This is part two. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm trying to get some light on the mirror. The thing is, uh, I can't get this. The squee you know, the squeezy thing, the sick effect itself. No. Down here. Oh, that feels a bit better. Um, let's see. Yeah, that looks like that's some around there. Let's see. Oh dear. underneath bit that is escaping me and I can't get my fingers under there uh, that's the bit that's really necessary I think
access is not good. No. It's not a good place really for a water heater. Well, I mean, it is in the fact it's, it is the fact that it's out of the way. way, but to be able to do anything to it, to repair it, you probably have to take the whole side out. Um, and, um, it's get to it, but really difficult to get to. This is an attempt at fixing it, but I may be overstretching the bowels of possibility. Yeah. And I might be gooing it up for somebody to undo later on, but you know, there we go. Right, well, I think that is as good as we're going to get. Okay, um, you've got some all the way around now, have you? Well, I think so, yeah. It's looking a bit more like it in the mirror. <clears throat> so, this is where you saw the water the other day. This is where I saw the water coming out of. Yeah. Well, you know. That's where it, the damp appeared to be coming from. Yeah. Um, where that makes up. You know, and there was no sign that the bolts or anything was loose. No. Um, it's probably just lost its waterproof lining. Yeah. So I'm going to come out of there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Leave that to cure. Yeah. I mean, it says it goes off quite quickly. <laughs> uh, more on there than there is on the on the pipe, I think. Yeah. So we will just have to. Yeah, wait a few wait hours. Wait a few hours. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, the time is eleven thirty-three. Yeah. So we will leave that to cure or dry off. Uh, I hold out not a lot of hope because I can't really get enough in the, in the right places. So I don't hold out a lot of hope. Some still came through my thing. Um, but at least we've had a go. What we'll do is we'll turn the water back on when we think it's sort of dried out a bit. We'll try, try and turn the water back on and see whether we get damp through. Um, probably will, uh, but at least we've had a go. I think that's it for now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Cheery bye, everybody. So, um, to follow up on that little video, um, we did try to turn the water back on. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, not quite sure what I've done. <laughs> but no water would go back into that hot water tank. So... Um, we weren't able to test out whether I'd actually sealed up the leak or not. It's still a mystery. Uh, so we have contacted local um, repair place and um, we're now going to take Grace round there um, shortly after New Year and um, let them have a look at it and also have a look at why the water's not going through. Um, I just turned the valve off. I mean, that's all I did. Turned it back on again, and there's no water going through into that tank. It's possible that there's an airlock, um, but I'm not sure exactly how to free that airlock. Hopefully, they will know. Uh, you'll see, hopefully, that report in a later video. <laughs> so there we are. That's my attempt at um, repairs on the water heater. Not terribly successful, I don't think. But we still don't know for sure. See you later.